first time. Sometime. Oh, no, here we go. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the next part of Nitro Field. The quality Ooh. might be a little different. We're trying through OBS because my mic is peaking whenever I play this game. Normally, it's really annoying. Also, he doesn't have to deal with, like, seven-second delay. Really or good. editing. Yeah, or editing, which is great. Sucks. So it's bad enough I have to edit my own videos. We're hoping that this is, uh, what's it called? This ends up being better um, in the long run for 30 FPS games for the time being until I can properly record 60 FPS. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're getting all the relics here and we're doing, uh, what's it called? The Oxide Race. Unless I, for some reason, have like immense issues doing the relic races here. Basically, yeah. Uh, Platinum for Engine Labs is 53 seconds, by the way. I'm trying to think if there was any level offhand that I found quite difficult. Like, more difficult than the rest. I almost want to say Cortex Castle, but I could be wrong. No, Engine Labs, actually, is the, the one that I think that I've had issues with in the past before. Um, it might seem a little weird, and the reason why I've had issues with Engine Labs is because there's a lot of crates at the way end. Don't get them all in one go. At least if you care about planet. If you care about gold or sapphire or whatever, just grab them all at the beginning. Drive backwards, it doesn't matter. Okay. You kind of want to spread them out for other laps. Also, what you want to do is you kind of want to keep your blue flame for the final lap, so just get all the inconvenient boxes as soon as possible. Like those boxes that I you just kind of saw that were tucked yeah. away. I usually get them lap one, but I totally forgot they were there. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, those are kind of just strategies for just relics in general. You want to get the really inconvenient ones. Yep. They're easier to miss. I have no idea if I got all those on the jump. I feel like I did, but you never know. Yeah, it looks like you might have overjumped a couple, but I'm not sure. Alright, and then for here, there's a lot of three crates. But the thing is, you want to get them all before lap two, because, uh, what's it called? They're all three crates, and yeah. That, that'll help you. You definitely don't want to waste them for lap three, because, well, where's your time reduction? I think that's the only reason why I've really found this level to be particularly difficult. Um, I, at least that I can recall offhand that I, I struggled with. Ooh, you feel so slow, fake crash, but I'm also not really used to playing this, like, this cautiously. But again, relevance. I've been playing so much online lately. We've done six online shenanigans streams in a row, which, uh, if you're watching this through the playlist, because I include the... I'm including the streams in the playlist, because it's still part of the game. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of a mess. I'm trying to have it up in the order that we recorded it, but if one of them goes out of order... I'm sorry. Okay, now I got all the crates there. Which is good. I'm just getting these because I want to get the blue. I want to have blue flame for this final lap. I think that's like the the most efficient way that I've uh, done it is to have blue flame for the final lap. What do I have to beat again? Yeah, 53. Can I do it? Is the question. I really hope so. And the fact that I missed that crate is kind of concerning. Uh, I don't know how long I've been stuck on. Oh, that answers my question. Is it 58? 53. 53. I have really bad memory. I don't know what is wrong with my memory. I really wish I could be like, I don't know, it's just been really bad for my entire life, but no, it's just been like the past few years or whatever. Years, months. Yeah, I'm not really I screwed up a little bit early on. I'm just kind of making sure though. Yeah. I missed a great anyways. <laughs> I jumped a little too early. Now that I remember where all the crates are in this level, I think I know how to do this more efficiently, though. Uh, that's, that's one thing I have to remember, too, is where all the crates are at, so... Uh, okay, so, then. So, how's your day been, man? Long, long day, man. How long? On a scale of 1 to 3? 24 hours. When was the last time you slept? <laughs> You're funny. Um... So this is an important question. Wow, I can. Remember. I'm actually trying to remember. Like, it's... It, you better have not been awake for 24 hours. <laughs> it might have been more than that. 
I really hope that isn't actually the case. I'm actually trying to think about it. I understand that you're 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 really busy, and you know it makes sense to me, but that's really not healthy. Well, I know it's not, but I don't really have a lot of options right now. You can always cry. Yeah. <laughs> cry like Cork for closing the game. <laughs> always love how that's. Uh, I need to finish the Psychonaut so I can get the stretching crank already. More like Ratchet and Spank. It's not even like I want to just finish Psychonauts right away, but I like that game plan. He's just... No, he hates it. What do you, what do you but there's no cork. It's, your least, it's literally your least favorite game of all time. Yeah, that's why I'm going through it. Yeah. I say that, but I do have some disaster games on my list. So... Did somebody will be say fun. Shamu? <laughs> I still love the fact that game was added as a joke. You're still gonna mm -hmm. go through with it at some point. Yep, absolutely am. It sounded semi-sarcastic. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Look, nothing can be worse than you having to go through Bugsy on your game. Just think about it like that. I would say Superman 64, but you never beat the game, so... I went through a single part. I tried for several months to go further than that, and I just couldn't do it. Not. I genuinely couldn't beat it. I thought you were going to give me a, a more entertaining answer, such as, because it's Superman 64, why are you even asking? <laughs> no, I mean, like, uh, I could not beat it, it was too difficult. And by difficult, I mean bullshit. Yeah, sounds about right. Megawar! Oh wait, I'm not playing. Crash. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The real Crash has returned. The worst nightmare is a ride. I want I want there to be PSAs and uh big crash costume. Where's that? Where's where where are those? They're still making those crash Bandicoot costume commercials. Which I'm very glad, by the way. But Nitro Fuel had a bunch of them. I know. I'm still really happy that they decided they would, would do it again. I almost feel like it's just something that's so etched in crash history that I understand. Did I miss that? Oh my goodness. You did. I swear I went straight through it. No, you didn't. You I just want to see real. In. I just want to see real quick if I was gonna beat it. Okay, let's pretend I three seconds are knocked off. All right, just pretend. Ah, uh, yeah, I would have made it. I'm pretty sure I would have made it at least. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy that they're doing that. I should probably not hover over the stop recording button. I've done that before, and I've had disastrous results. I don't remember if it was this channel or another channel, but there there was a time where I screwed that up. That two crate is really hard to get with the balance character. Because these guys are so slow. Tell me again what's balance, about balance characters. It's not their speed. They're it's not their turning. They're it's not their acceleration. Nine. Isn't XL like their best stat? No, it's, I don't think so. Either it's either XL or turning. Their turning's bad though. Balance is just—they're not balanced. That's the problem. Yeah, no, it's a lie. For everyone who doesn't know, the stats are a lie. Yes, they are, and the balance character is like the number one reason people bring up for that. They're just. At least turning characters have the high turning. They're terrible at everything else, but they at least have turning. Yep. These guys have nothing. They actually have decent acceleration, too. And that's that's actually really nice in this game. So. There you go. I guess that is. Yeah. Pretty sure they actually have the second highest acceleration after you know, the actual itself class. They do. I think it's like middle ground. You know what? I'll just get those all on black. Three, I guess. <laughs> or two, rather. This lap. Big Crash needs more love from me, anyways. On my main account, he has no, no, like, wins. But also, that has to do with, like, it just stems from balanced characters in general. I think maybe if I had Cowboy Fake Crash skin, I would probably maybe. use But it. we're in the middle of a GP, and... Oh, I can do it all my- I can buy it on my main account. It ever pops up. Really oh sure, but not this one. Like if 
you end up getting anything on the Grand Prix shop that's part of the Grand or piss off. Yeah, words. How do you speak? What is this English? How do you it's do it? It's basically the Grand Prix shop now, right now, anyways. Yeah. At least for us. Uh, that is not good. Go back to yeah, that. you would have to give up that blue flame if you want to do it that way. Yep, and I don't want to do that. So... Mega one! Oh man, look at all those threes! I have no Somebody's idea. just having fun with the copy paste. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. They were just like, what if we just put them all in one spot? And somebody was like, give this man a raise! Maybe that's the that other. They snuck it in at the end. Maybe that, nobody went to fix it. Maybe that was, uh, what's it called? Naughty Dog. Remember how they, the, the apparent story goes is they were trying to make this as ridiculous as possible to make people maybe. To, to kill off the franchise? Maybe maybe that was a part of the ploy. They're like, what if we just add a whole bunch of relic crates in one stage? Nobody would take that seriously. 10 out of 10! I've seen geniuses that thought that the game was. missed it again. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you're not gonna make it. Damn. You're already too late. I would have made it though. Which sucks! Ugh. You would have. Yeah, this is the only stage I can remember offhand that I had issues with. Luckily, I, I noticed it before we got in here. I was like, I wonder what the hard stages were. And then I was like, oh yeah, I remember having it. You started talking about Spartak's Castle, and then you're like, oh wait. Yeah, oh. I, th I, think, I think my mind actually meant engine labs. Also, I changed the music back for the record to non-classic or whatever, non-retro, non-original. Because I remember I did that in one of the parts, yeah. which was fun. But, I think they're back to a speedway. Yeah, but we were having way, doing way too many live streams, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to revert it back for the time being, because we were sitting on it for a very long time. We probably were sitting on the retro soundtrack in, in retrospect longer than we were the the main, the actual soundtrack. And I actually prefer the new version, mostly because they just sound much nicer now, I guess. I don't know. I know, which is really weird to say after Insane Trilogy and especially Reignited, but here we are. A lot of it has to do, well, I think Reignited Trilogy's soundtrack is actually really good. But I absolutely despise it. The, well, you the, better believe I'm turning that thing off. I, I, was gonna, that. I was gonna say, I think it's good it's depending on the game, but the thing is, you're trying to combat Stuart Copeland, and that is really hard to Well, that's part of win. it. Part of it, too, is just they just don't sound like good songs, period. I think it was... I, I want to say... Three, no, no, it's not the originals, obviously. I'm not that crazy. I want to say it was Spyro 3 had the best remastered soundtrack in the yeah. bunch. Yeah, I know it, uh, towards the end of the soundtrack development, Sir Copeland actually came back, and I'm pretty sure they made them in order. This actually sounds like he did come back. There's a lot more emphasis on the drums in Spyro 3. Yeah, and I know this is a bad idea, but whatever. I could still be fine. Actually, this could be a really good idea. Anyways, um, yeah, well, the thing, too, is also uh, Spyro 1 soundtrack, I just feel is really hard to touch on. Spyro, Spyro ones in specific, I feel like is hard, hard to beat. Probably, it's probably the best of the bunch, in my opinion. And that's probably actually what a lot of people would tell you. They think that the one has the best soundtrack of the bunch. I, think I guess I'm the odd duck out then. I think it's the worst by far. And uh, that, that, you talk to the vast majority of people, they will tell you more than more people than not will be like, yeah, I, I think the first game has the best soundtrack. I'm in that boat. I think. The then I think the second game has the second best one. Then I think the third game has the third place. Third place. They're all really good though. St Stuart Copeland has some music. Surprisingly, for somebody who doesn't make primarily video game music, he made some very good video game music. <laughs> it's kind of... I guess it makes sense in retrospect, but I'm so used to, like, video game composers... You're kidding me. Video game composers... Uh being used to making whatever the heck they're used to, or video game composers are used to making things that are like, oh, okay, so I know how this works in a game, I know how this works in a game. As for actual, like, musicians and stuff like that, they're more like, well, we're making this album, so I know, so we know how this wants to sound on the album sort of thing, right? So I, I feel like 
And that's just how it works, is people that work with game compositions just know how to make something work better for a game itself. It's just, I guess, comes with the territory. Yeah, so they, they, they didn't even get Copeland's bandit. They didn't even bring the police in. They just cut Copeland. For the original game, which is, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. He's the drummer, for everyone who doesn't know. He's just the drummer. I don't think he does anything else. No, just drumming. Yeah. It's pretty crazy in retrospect. But yeah, he's really good, really good soundtrack. Unfortunately for me, and I'm pretty sure that you could agree, but while I do think, I think his name is Josh Mansell who did the the Spire, or Spire, the Crash soundtracks, while they're passable, I've never thought they were like spectacular. Like they're not. There's something... a few standouts, but for the most part, they're not that great. Yeah, I agree. Like for example, what would you say is a standout? For example, Cortex. Like... For most most bosses, really, but Cortex especially. That like Crash One Cortex. I'm talking about the thing, but I actually like two the most. I, I as like far as pure music goes, but I like yeah, all three of them. I mean, I like two a lot too. Josh Mansell has really made really good music for the series. Don't get me wrong. It's just none of them. I I always thought to myself and screamed, "Wow, these are so amazing and super memorable and the best things ever." Outside of maybe like the select few soundtracks. Songs. But even then, I don't think they're like the greatest things in the world or whatever. Uh, maybe I'm the odd duck here. I, don't know. I know a lot of people were like really upset when Insane Trilogy didn't get John Mansell back in. They're like, the soundtrack is now like one of the worst parts. And I was just like, I mean, maybe, but uh, the soundtracks were pretty decent and nothing more, personally. They're good, definitely serviceable. I do, for example, though, love Hang Hates the crash team. I think it's kind of like everyone's go to. If I had to think of the soundtrack from the series. It's very, very I can't even remember he hates being like what is what he, what level is that it's even? It's the surfer rock theme. The, I do not remember that at all. It's the one that's like da da dun dun da 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 I don't remember that at all. The Crash 2 level. Clearly, it's been too long since I played Crash 2. In Crash 2, in Crash 2, they're the levels that there's two gems where you have to run all the way to the end to get because there's a timer. Does that help? Because they're the only levels that are like that. Not really. It's been. I haven't really touched the game since Insane came out. I thought you played it a few, a uh, few times after. I know I did. I couldn't uh, help myself. There's not some in Crash 2. Crashes, there's something so addictive about Crash, I can't help myself. Something addictive about getting all the crates and stuff. That you just, I'm just like, man, I would want to play it again. Crash 3 is always my least played. The thing is, it's like, you know what I really hate about Crash 3? I love the game, and it would be my favorite of the bunch if it didn't have so many gimmicks. But the thing is, like, the really good stages in Crash 3 are really, really good. Oh yeah, like but, if it was just your platform, you'd be the best of the trilogy by far. Easily, yeah, I I definitely agree. But then it's like then you have the motorcycle stages, and then you have the plane stages, and then I'm like, no. <laughs> I like the making wave stages. I know a lot of others usually do. I know some people might not. I mean, if I had to guess, you might not. But they're probably my least favorite behind the bikes. They're yeah, they're 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 my second. Well, it depends. Do you would you count underwater stages in this boat? Because if we're yes, if we're doing that, then that's that's like probably my second stage. I like, really don't want to do underwater stages, especially because they're they're just like some of the other vehicle stages. They're the ones, specifically uh, motorcycle. They're the ones where if you make a screw up, aka if you're on your torpedo machine and you get hit, then suddenly you can't get the box gem anymore, and that's dumb. You're gonna have a field day when you get trapped to Cortex. Not only is there more vehicle levels, but they're a hundred times worse. Um, for me, Wrath of Cortex, I and I played through this uh, the game. It was it was like a year ago at this point, but I, I remember talking about it in uh, another one of our LP. I'm not sure what it was. Um, might have been something related to Crash. I'm not really sure though. But I want to say this is the first crash. No, no, it might have been. It might have been during like Entranced or something. Maybe Huge Adventure. Huge Adventure. Huge Adventure was fairly recent. Yeah, it was probably Huge Adventure. But um, while I think 
I, I feel much better about, what's it called, about Wrath of Cortex than I, I initially and once have before. Um, I don't really think there's way too bad a vehicle stage. The, the, of course the underwater stages are complete ass, no surprise. Um, other than that, it's like the air, uh, the wing air stages, whatever you want to call them. The planes, that's what they're called. Those stages all suck, but that's like, it's all I can think of offhand, personally. I mean, my, my opinion can obviously change when I'm going through the game, but like, I'm just thinking offhand. I'm like, I don't think there's anything way too bad, except for all the... I hated all of them. Well, there's some... Oh, I, I like I like the racing ones. The one racing one. <laughs> uh -huh. I feel like the racing one is probably the best, but... And then, and then, the best of what? And then, of course, there's the, there's the, the jeep inside the prehistoric level. I think that one's fine, too. It's at the way end. But, yeah, no, it's I think... It's not a prehistoric level. Crash 3 has ruined you, but, Not yeah. prehistoric level. Well, there's Triceratops is running at you, I think. Right? No, there's not. They're rhinos. Oh. I thought they See, Crash 3 has ruined you. Yes, it has. I guess it... I, I guess so. Uh, Triceratops is chasing Crash 3. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I thought they did it again. Because I know they really did it There we go. That makes me feel so much better. I realized this makes sense, but Fake Crash uses like literally every single animation Crash does. <laughs> Except for the winning. There you go, you got your platinum. Thank you. It only took you 20 minutes. <sighs> I think this is the hardest one though, I don't recall the rest being too bad. I could be wrong, but it's just what I'm remembering offhand. I said Cortex Castle, but I'm not sure coming to think of it. I really think I was thinking of Engine Labs. And I think Oxide Station is pretty simple. Though, actually, come to think of it, I do think there's some boxes off of jumps in Oxide Station, which were really finicky for me, if I remember correctly. Hey, look, it's the Crash Dance. The, the good Crash Dance. There we go. <laughs> I mean, the both really good. Yeah, but this is the really good crash dance. <laughs> this is the crash crash dance. Hey, I got a new decal. Mark of Champions. I'm actually gonna change my cart because I don't wanna I don't wanna be in the band of buggy. Does it really matter what I'm in? I'm in the La Show, I'm in the La Show. You can't stop me. Uh, uh It's fake crash, so it has to be really tacky. Like, really unfitting, or... The weirder it is, the better. Okay, I think I have a decent idea, then. Um... And... There we go. Uh, you know what? Let me, let me actually... Uh, there we go, and then... Uh, ah, there we go. Perfect. This looks like a literal clown cart. <laughs> you know, I keep saying everything you play this fake crash, it just looks like you can pinch his nose and they'll make a little horn sound. It's the same thing with normal crash. They're literally the same, they all got like the same everything. I know, but fake crash's nose stands out a lot more. It's probably the buck teeth. But I'm not looking at his teeth, I'm looking at his nose. No, 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 I mean because he has the buck teeth that probably makes his face even more ridiculous. I'm not looking at his teeth, though. I'm looking at his nose. No, 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 no. What, what I mean in general is, like, it's because the teeth are so big and prominent that they're, like, you kind of, like, subconsciously know they're there, and it just makes his face that much more goofy. Because his face stands out even more. Because Crash's face, I would say, did, doesn't really stand out uh, a whole lot. Oh, no. Uh, it doesn't sound out a whole lot. Um, uh, it's a minute 32 seconds for Platinum. I think you don't need to get all the crates at this stage, actually. I think... Because this first jump is really annoying, and I, I, I do vaguely remember... You know what? I'll give it a try. I'll give the... Give the what's it called? The, give it a try. I mean, not, um, not getting all the crates, and we'll see. If it doesn't look like I'm going to be remotely close, then I'll just stop trying. So yeah, the, fir the first jump is the only annoying part. Start, because I feel bad about that one. But yeah, I think the only 
What is the stupid beginning one? And, and the, the first jump also has the, the whole, you have a really high probability of jumping over the crate syndrome. Or barely miss it syndrome. <sighs> so did Engine Labs, but this one is less strict. If memory serves. And my memory is bad, so it's probably not really the most trustworthy thing that they can come to think of it. It's not, not a compelling argument coming from me. Yeah, well, my memory hasn't been the best state either, so yeah, I won't well, judge. You say today, but to me it's like forever. My memory is just terrible. It's been terrible since the beginning of time itself. Okay, I couldn't remember if these were on the steps or in the air. No, I know. Ooh, that was really hard. Woo! You don't even have to go for the shortcut on the Relic Race. You don't, but you probably should. Thank you, Mom, Dad. Oh uh, yeah, this is bad corner That's just mean. I was like, but it's I not exactly hard to hit. It's just really mean. Yeah, I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm pretty sure they put some really weird new place there. There we are. Found it. I found the secret ingredients. The secret formula. Where's Spongebob? I see. He's been talking Spongebob a lot today. I like Spongebob. Spongebob. I love Gogurt. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Gogurt. I've been seeing non-stop Gogurt at work. Really? I didn't even know Gogurt yes. was a thing still. I Oh, it is absolutely a thing. Make no mistake. Is that what the kids nowadays get? I don't know if it's a kids thing, but everyone at work's getting them. Do you think there's just it's like cheaper than ice cream? I guess. Do you think they're just like, yo, dudes, let's let's get the go, let's 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 be gogurt collectors? Do you think that's what's happening? They're they're secret gogurt collectors. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to figure it out. Your secret Gogurt collectors. You should join their Gogurt squad. I see. I need to infiltrate the, the, the Gogurt masses. Yes. It's important to find out the secret Gogurt ingredient. All along, it was milk! Of course. Who would have thought it was Sprilk? Was the milk delicious, what though? The That's heck? the question. This is a fully functioning game! It is? Somebody said it was, that's why it launched! No, like this! Go, Gert! I missed the crate. It's whatever. I figured if I, trust? I figured I try, if I tried lap 2, I might be able to get it because I got it on lap 2 last race. I figured if I just gained a little bit of speed, I'll be fine. But no. No. Mm, my name is... He disconnected faster than possible. Wow. Holy fucking moly. That was absurdly fast, how fast he disconnected. He was talking to me one second. Next second, he disappeared! Maybe the Gogurt squad got him. Um. Oh, I streamed alone several times, so I guess, I guess this isn't really that much different. I suppose. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to, uh. Next part of Let's Play Crash Bundacoot! The Wrath of Lortex! Yeah, he, he's gone. You probably heard the sound effect, and by probably, I mean you definitely heard the Skype sound. So, yeah.
Um, I don't remember what time I had a beat. I want to kind of say it's like 1.30 or something silly like that, or 1.42, but I think it's like 1.25. So that's, that's great. Um, I'm going to just finish off the race. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll find it. Probably not, though, because this game is mean, and I am bad at this game, so it's also a uh, Yes. Maybe I still got it. Nope, I didn't. 132. He's back. He is returned. He is returned. The LP is saved. I'm so glad saved. this guy's just still broken and makes him call for like 30 seconds before it even tells you I'm calling. You you were in the middle of a sentence and then you DC and I was like, interesting, that's a first. Yeah, that that happened. I don't even remember what I was talking about, so sorry, you're just gonna have to We were talking about Gogurt infiltration. Oh yeah, it's that. I also got the gold relic because I didn't know what the time was, and I was just like, screw it, it let me see if I can get seconds. it. It was thirty-two? Minute thirty-two, yeah. That's what I thought. I, I can get it without getting all the crates. It's it's kind of a, a tight well, What did you end up getting? Uh, 136, I believe. Oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, it's, it's a kind of, it's a semi-tight window, but if you keep the blue flame for, like, lap three or something... Ooh, nice engine. Wait, why did they give you an engine for Cortex's castle? Uh... Because your mom... <laughs> you might actually be five. Three still out on that. No, I'm, like, two. I'm, like, two. Like, my first word is mom, and my second word was your, and I just put the two together. Hello, welcome to I thought Gears. you were going for a Pokemon joke at first, because I heard Mon instead of Mom. Oh. <laughs> I was very confused. I mean, you could argue both will work in the long run, because, you know, the whole, My like... My first work was Pokemon! <laughs> yes, that too. So was my second and third word. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon! <laughs> my parents hate me. <laughs> I got, I got kind of dark. <laughs> National Pokedex. Dex it. I hope that gets dated. It's not. Like it doesn't matter. This LP is dated. I don't even know what you're talking about, but whatever. Uh, people are calling the 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 Pokemon thing, the the Pokedex, the, that they're deleting Pokemon. They're calling it Dexit because it's uh, in Britain. Oh, that's beautiful. Cause it's, yeah, because it's in Britain or Scot Scotland or whatever. It's I'm, yeah. it's over there, so they're calling yeah, it. I, I get the joke. Yeah, so, yeah, so they're calling it Dexit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Did I hit that. Yeah, that's pretty great. You were clearly over it, but it still gave it to you, dude. I will take anything. Sure, including your lunch money. Okay, here's some pizza. Oh, he's doing it! How <laughs> you wish. Oh, I was about to check my PayPal. I was about to pause. <laughs> he was gonna cancel the video this week. Pizza. Desperate times calls for de desperate measures. Really now? Uh -oh, wrong way. It was probably a waste Why of time. Why'd you go back for that? I don't know. All the crates. I was really upset, so I don't know. I, I, I literally was saying that. I was like, I don't know why I got that. I'm s I guess I'm just trying to save as much time as humanly possible. Okay, so you wasted four seconds to get a two second box. So I wasted two seconds. Th I, I'm not entirely sure on the numbers. I don't even know what number was on that box you waited for. I think it was, was, it, I think it was a two. It might have been a one, though. I almost hope it was a one. <laughs> just make it even more redundant. So just grab all. Yeah, that yeah, I grabbed the ball. <laughs> I, that three crate is like evil incarnate. Is it even possible for you to get that one without blue flame? Uh, yes, because I did get it without blue flame earlier. Huh. Oh. You're telling me is that thing is about as consistent as half the shortcuts in this game. Um, most of the shortcuts are consistent. All of them are, I think, actually. Don't say sewer speedway, because I figured out the secret. 
I mean, I still have a few, but even on levels I'm pretty good at that I can't take consistently, I still can't get that shortcut out of time every time. That one's easy. That one's really easy. You don't need speed for it. You know, you love bringing that sentence up, but I don't think it means what you think it means. You, you don't! Do. I've done it without any speed before! <laughs> I did it on Again. stream and told you! Yeah, I can't do it. I don't know if I can do it with a beginner character necessarily, but at least with an XL you can, and you, just by going by super speedway logic, I'm assuming a beginner might, but maybe the others can't. But that's na name another one. I could hit the three right there. Na name another one. I'll tell you if I, I out of time was definitely the one I was thinking about. That, I knew head. you were gonna say that, and I almost certain it is. I could do that on my own just to see. But I'm pretty sure that one's pretty consistent. I haven't seen anybody complain about that one either. That might just be a me issue, but I cannot find anywhere to jump on it, and it's I will almost always miss it. It's likely a you issue. I I, I can do it much. Uh, I beat Oxide without the shortcut. I can. I've done trusted. I can. Which, I mean, I know it's not saying much because Oxide is really easy in that to prep stages, but. Yeah, but I, I've, uh. I. I. Wouldn't say it's more consistent than in, in what's it called uh, Nitro in the original Nitro Kart game. I was just so bad at hitting in the original Nitro Kart game. I think they're both. Oh, it's consistent. way easier in Nitro Kart. I at find, least for me, it is. I find it way easier in this game. It's not even funny how. Like I, I still don't even know where the right spot is to jump in the original game. That is me in this game. I don't know where to jump. I jumped there. Speaking of jumping, and nothing happened. Maybe There's I jumped. clearly an autocorrect thing there, but it doesn't work half the time, so why even bother? You're out of time? Yeah. I don't think it's an autocorrect thing. If you're talking about, like, if you jump at a certain spot, it, like, automatically makes you do the jump. I don't think it's like Basically. that. Basically. At least, I don't think it's ever been like There's that. There's a lot of jumps in this game do that. I guess I know I should think that was a 3 crit though, and I really wanted it. It's the only one I'm going to go back to. Presumably. Especially because I don't want to come up here. Come on, hit me, hit me with another shortcut that you find me consistent. I'm trying to think of one offhand that I, I've been like. You're just trying to prove me wrong, and I don't, I don't appreciate it. I'm just trying to figure out like tracks personally that I'm like, yeah, you know what? I don't think that one really works very well. But I just, I can't. I would have said Sewer Speedway if I didn't figure it out. Thanks to this LP. I Thank still you, don't LP. think. I still don't think Sewer Speedway is that consistent. It, it definitely. That one, that like, one. I've seen your thing. It does not work 100 percent for me. It's like 60 percent. With beginner and XL, or we don't yes, be with balanced. XL. I could do it 10 times in a row with an XL character. So I don't know. Could just be me explaining it wrong in the video. Because I I can do it 10 times. In a row. I did three times in a row in a video with balance and XL. Try to prove the point that yeah, it's pretty consistent because I've managed to do it this many times consistently. That's why I did it so many times. Cause I was like, look, guys, I can do it. I swear. Yeah, boy! Good job. You just barely lost. If only I hit one more crate. Or maybe if you didn't turn around for a crate. Or that. I'm actually not 100 percent sure on that one. Maybe, actually, because I could have potentially hit it on lap three. You should just give up on that bot. I know, but I really, like, now I'm, like, determined to hit it. <laughs> like, Just go for the other two first and then go for that one on lap three. I know. Okay, mom. Let's try one more. Okay, there. I got that three crates, so I don't have to worry about it later laps. Hope you're proud of me. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo-ha! Megawatts! Are you trying to say Megamind? Because if so, I approve. No, I'm saying Megawatts! My, my favorite... Uh oh, whoa. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot. Oh my Should god, that was mind. such a bright crate. Oh, I saw that. they're yes. so bright. Oh, somebody turned up the bloom. Oh, my eyes are watering now. Wow. I 
want to go for it, but I won't. I don't think I would have done it anyways. It's really hard to tell. Some, there's some jumps where I'm like, okay, yeah, I know I'll make it there. But that one was like, I don't even know. That one was like I don't think it would have. I don't think it was enough. Yeah, I think it was like ever so slightly too little like most of those, those jumps are. I think I should be able to get the platform. I got, I got the really bad great time away. Though my end, the end of the lap of lap one was very sloppy. But it might be fine because there's a lot of crates there. There's something about them and putting a lot of crates at the end of the stages in this section of the game. Yo, this, this is a cathedral for Cortex. Yes, as all things should be. He wants Crash dead. He's a bad man, but we still love him. He's a bad man. He's a vigilante! I think that one crate there, I had a really bad habit in my main account of jumping over it. I don't know who I was playing though. I mean, definitely wasn't fake crash. I don't think it was a balanced character. I almost want to say it was an XL character, but I don't know. It's been like a month since that happens. Something like that. What's the date today? Today is the 19th. Okay, the game hasn't even been out. This video goes up on the 20th, so get a, a whole day to upload this. Less than. Oh, I'm gonna upload this. You, you don't even have 12 hours, actually, so. Oh, it'll take like an hour to upload. Just, raw files on, uh, what's it called? I think they're much shorter because they're the smaller. On OBS. There you go. Thank the heavens we have done it. Today is Friday. I think. Actually, today is Sunday. I take it back. It's Tuesday. No. It's Thursday. Wednesday? Yeah! Alright, should I save Oxide Station for last because it only makes sense? Makes sense to me. You make sense to me. I don't even make sense to me. Crash is Dance is something beautiful. Crashes, fake crashes, or both. Fake crash. Yeah, I do like regular crashes dance, but I think I might just like watching fake crash dance a little more. You're the kind of guy to, to finish all, all three games 100% in Insane Trilogy and then go to Insanity Island and just sit there for three hours. I did! How'd you know? <laughs> oh, it was just a hunch. It's just, just, just a uh, hunch, a bunch of honey bunches of oats. I think this is it's also... Uh, two minutes and two seconds. I was going to say, I think this is another stage two where you don't have to really work. Honestly, I probably blue flame this entire stage. That might be good. Should I try it? If you're confident in it, sure, go for it. I'm pretty confident. I'm fairly confident. I'm not competent, but I'm confident. That's a oh. terrible combination. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. I was gonna say, do you have the, the game open currently? Probably not, but... I don't. I could open it pretty quick. So I was gonna what ask, you like, check the... the time trials and see what the time trials are. See what people's best times are. No, this is probably a stage that people have glitched out, so look for whatever looks like the most legitimate. Alright, I'll turn my PS4 back on. You don't have to. There's the beep. Oh, it's too late. Now he's committed. It's like a relationship. I don't imagine it's a particularly healthy relationship. I keep saying I want to leave it behind. Yet here I am going back again and again. This, this feels like an addiction. But it's not an addiction I even enjoy. Like, at least with drugs, you get some kind of enjoyment out of it? Debatable. You could be doing a really bad bad drug, and you might not be getting enjoyment out of it, but it's doing something for you that you just can't get enough. Well, exactly, you're getting something out of it. That's what I mean. Humiliation. 
I just want to know the time trial, not the relics. Yeah. Because the relics, somebody's probably done in like two seconds or something. Like silly. High nice. nice score is online. Citadel City. Uh, world record is 135. That doesn't actually sound that glitched out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What's, uh, what's the oxide time here? Oxide time is 2.34. And what's the platinum time here? 2.02. So I have to shave off 30 seconds. I have a brilliant idea. I'll play this fake crash. <laughs> Whoa! It's real life fake crash! Can I have your autograph? <laughs> Thanks, Mom! I would have never met Fake Crash otherwise. I hit a three crate somewhere and I don't know how. <laughs> I'm just gonna be blunt with you. <laughs> I will, because I have no idea what 3 crate I hit. <laughs> yeah, I think I could probably do this. I, I've, I've done this stage so much, like, normally, that I'm confident in my blue playing skills, I feel like. Obviously, if I'm not going to get it right before the lap ends or whatever, just tell me. Or right before the, the race ends. Oh, shoot. Man, I lost my blue flame right there because I wanted to get a 2 crate. That's why you never say... I feel confident in my ability to do things. You know, I'm looking through all the time trial stuff right now. There is a shocking lack of big norms on the leaderboard. That is really surprising, because usually there's too many like, There big are norms. big norms here, but none of them have gotten first. And I almost always see one. There's actually not on that many, not even on the Nitro Car levels. I usually see one in top 10. Yeah, there's not one here on Thunderstruck. Tiny hey, oh, wait. oh, there's the first number one norm. Can you check in Thunderstruck real quick? Can you do me a favor? Can you see if I'm still 33rd in Thunderstruck? I feel like you have to be. Yes, you are. Of course. I am forever going to be. Unless they remove the times that are obviously using the glitch. Or just Which reset at this point, the I don't think they are. Yeah. Which I still think they should have done to begin with. Oh, Media Gorge also has first place Norm, but that's it. Baron Ruins up third place, but that's it. Out of time, doesn't have a big Norm at all. What's the time out to beat? 202. Alright, yeah, I beat it. With 15 crates skipped. I'm glad I've gotten better. Hyperspace Way, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, that one is first place, Norm. No surprise there. What time? Remember, say so. A minute forty-five. If you want to go down to, I'm in. I'm I'm sub two hundred. If you want to check where I'm at, I'm not going that far down. You want to check? You know, like thirty-three was too high for me. I think I am. I want to say I'm probably like one hundred twenty there. Or something. Oh, sewer speedway. Number one is Norm. Big Norm or Normal Norm? Big Norm. I was about to say, course. if somebody's doing something as, like, small Norm, then... But they deserve your respect. How are you doing so well as a balanced character? Coco Park, all but second place are all Amy. <laughs> that second place is a tiny. Slightly disappointed, I thought you were going to say they're all Big Norm. No, they're all Amy, except for one. Also, I wanted, tiny. I wanted to mention this in, in a different part. Uh, you remember how in CNK... You, the CNK tracks when we did that, you noted how in um, Oxide Ships is is in Inferno Island. It's also in Tiny Temple. Okay, I know about the Inferno Island. I didn't know it was in Tiny Temple. It's, Where's there? It's right before where the original Anti Gravity section was. Um, it's it's. On, I need to go load the level up. It's now. on the it's on the top of that. By the way, what is um the platinum for oxide station? Two minutes thirty four seconds. Two minutes thirty four. What's the oxide time? Three twenty seven. Wait, and what was the platinum again? Just. 
234. Don't ask for two different times if you can't handle two different times. Look, my memory is poo poo in the bum bum. I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just dropped my switch controller and now my mouse is doing weird things. Did you just say you threw your switch controller? No, I dropped it. You should have thrown it. Thrown it at the wall. No thanks, I like it. And it was ex kind of expensive, so uh. Not as expensive, I don't think, as PS4 controllers. Yes, it is. It's $70. I want to say PS4 controllers are 60 but I could be wrong. They're 40 Sure. Last time I checked, yes. Maybe it's Xbox One I'm thinking of. One of them is... Well, yeah, Xbox One is disgustingly expensive. I like the music in the stage, it's like... It feels like that exactly. I would know. I beatbox it, but... In my third life. And that's Oh yeah, there's the there's the ship. Okay. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, I I'd never noticed. I wasn't that. really noticed like I wasn't paying attention. I think it was an online race and I was just like, wait a minute. I know that ship. That's something my I'm interested in as to how it the uh, crash in two places at once. Gas I really like all the extra uh, shrines to tiny that they put around this level. I mean it is his temple. Presumably. He didn't even know he had it. He does now. I'm surprised that when they were racing through the stages, they weren't like, Why does all this stuff look similar to Tiny? Why are my lab assistants here? Like, so, if uh, this place technically worships Tiny, then couldn't Cortex just come in and take over? Cause Tiny would definitely see that over to Cortex, right? Presumably. Hey, can you check the leaderboards for Oxide Station 2? I know those people are gonna abuse Blue Flame like crazy, but I am kind—I am kind of curious compared to the two. More I'm players. finishing this race now, so I can get my fake crash. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just after. Okay, apparently. It I need to just play a spade crash and I'm playing this level online. Because <laughs> I can actually manage to hold blue flame here. But I can never do it as an accelerator speed. Mega Wow! Wow! minute left. This stage is kind of long. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but again, I'll try and then I'll, I'll do it again. I'm just trying to do the stages now without collecting all the crates and because without the stress of that just to see how it goes. <laughs> yes. Is the correct answer to that statement. <laughs> he was laughing that entire time and I was trying to mimic him. It was it was beautiful. <laughs> the crash of the national pressure should be respected. Alright, you wanted the time trial for Oxide Station? Yep. I'm not gonna be able to make this, but whatever. It's 2.23. Dang, so you're telling me that person can just do this entire stage and ignore every single crate? Basically, although as we saw just with the Thunderstruck, they didn't update the leaderboards for when shortcuts got patched, so maybe they just did that. Did what? There was a shortcut when the game launched where you could, could skip a good chunk of the level, remember? It's not worth doing. Yeah, it is. On 2 and 3 it is. On 2 and 3 if you can keep blue playing, yes. But... I'd Which we're talking about the number one time, so yes, they can. There's a high probability that they will not patch that out because it's too specific. I don't even know how to do it correctly. They already did patch it out. I barely knew anybody who knew how to do it. 
even people that like I knew that were speedrunning this game were like, yeah, I don't even know how to do it consistently. It's really weird. It's, they were like, it's possible, but it's very bizarre on how you yeah, do it. was one of the first glitches they patched out. But yeah. this is well before they patched it out Thunderstruck. It's so bizarre. I feel like they should have. Because if, if it was a pain, if it was as difficult as I've been like led on to believe and and stuff, then I feel like it should have stayed. But I'm surprised they haven't patched out the uh, Dingo Canyon and Tiger Temple one. Those ones are really easy. You just need to fix the collision on the the things that you can fly up. Wow, well, no uh, checkpoints. Yeah. Do you realize the problem with that? They have to fix their collision. They add have to basically reprogram their entire collision engine. No, what I'm saying is just add like an invisible wall in the way where where you can ascend to the heavens. So like an invisible wall that's flat, right? So that way when you ramp into it, it acts as if you rammed into a wall head on. Just do that. It's the easy, it's a simple solution. It's not editing what's already in the game. Like it's not editing your physics already or... We're doing this or that, you're just adding a wall, basically. An invisible wall. It's really easy in theory, but I'm sure if there's something old in the back. Yeah, it's called Beanox? Yeah. Uh, did someone say an Yeah, that's me, though. Yeah, I've seen their track record. It's true. But they did a... I want to say this is the second best remake? They've done that of the, the three Spyro Crash in uh, 1, 2, 3, and then this one. I want to say this is the second best of the bunch. By far the worst for me. I think it's No the contest. Best. I know some, there's a lot of people that I know that I think it's the best of the bunch. I think Spyro probably did the best of the bunch. Um, but I would have put Spyro as the, the worst, or I would assume you would have put it as the worst, just because no. of three. No, I, I think they put it as the I mean, because of three. Because three is really glitchy. It, I didn't have too many issues. It wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, this is. I mean, by an objective standpoint, yeah. But I mean, like, if we're talking about like how I personally feel, man. Eh, not really. Though I can understand how people could feel, you know, that way. And such. Had to be. It's one thirty-four, right? 234. Two, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. Um, I didn't do this. Uh, no! Restarting. Actually, I should. I have already gotten the. No, I haven't gotten the relic here. Never mind. If you already had the relic here, then what are you still doing here? No, no, I thought I had the gold relic here, so I was going to finish oh. the race and get the, the coins, but then I remembered. Oh, wait, no, I don't have the relic here. Okay. Why do they call this game Crash Team Racing when there's no team? I don't know. There's there's more teamwork in Nitro Kart. Well, there they call it Crash Team Racing because it's like Crash, like in his team, the the team of Crash Racing. Like I get it. From that standpoint. But it's no, a lie! There's no team mechanics. This is a big issue. This game, it promised me team mechanics. I read the back of the box and it said, Race is your favorite team. I can't race as, as Team Penta Penguin. He doesn't have I'd like to think there would be a, a Team Aku, a Team Uka, a Team Velo, and then there'd just be this lone Team Penta. Because the game can't decide where he belongs. Put freaking... Like, Fake Crash there, Penta too! Mask. Fake Crash is, nor like, is neutral, so you might as well put him there, too. Did it just turn on? Yes, it did. My light flickers for a second. I, I can never tell if it's like my vision going bad or something. <laughs> And, uh, it's just uh, just my AC turning on, making me rethink my vision every day. 
It's like a wake up call. Is my vision fine? Yes, it is. Okay. We're good. Sorry, wrong cart racing game. For anyone who has Sorry, it's, it's fake crash. So be... <laughs> it's true. But for anyone who doesn't know, that was uh, actually a Mario Kart 64 reference. <laughs> I don't even know if you knew that was a Mario Kart 64 reference. No. I've only played Mario 64 like once. That's that's what Toad says. He says, "Here's for cow." Every time you use a, a mushroom, as you can imagine. It can get very obnoxious because it's tough. All the things I've heard people tell me about Mario 6 Kart 64, I'm really glad I didn't grow up on the system. Why not? Specifically for that game. What? It just seems like it'd be really obnoxious. Everybody, Plus, it just doesn't look fun at all. Everybody loves Mario Kart 64. It just doesn't look good at all. I will admit, and this is past nostalgia glasses because I do have nostalgia for the game. I really do think it is. It has got some of the worst tracks um, in Mario Kart history. So, yeah, eh, that's that's a thing going for it. It's obviously not a good thing, but yeah, no, it's. I would say I still think Mario like almost any Mario Kart's better. Hell, I'd argue that a Super Nintendo Mario Kart even might be better. No, I did it. I didn't get all the crates either. One of those jumps had a really wonky crate. One of them, one of them, I jumped under. Now that was the right, main reason why I did. Well, it's <laughs> it's been over an hour. Do you want to call it? Yeah, we can. We can save the next part for the. I really wish okay. we didn't do the credits on the first time around now, but <laughs> I guess we just oh, had to well, sit through can... them again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. To an extent. If the next part ends up being too short, oh well. That was the original idea, anyway. Make yeah, I mean, I mean, the la the next part that I have done, anyways, it's or that we're doing, anyways, aka oxide second race. I spent like an hour on it on hard mode, so yeah, it's kind of rough. Speaking of which, I think he has a little pencil, no? Because we dumped all the relics. No, does he not? Or is it just gonna show me all my stickers and stuff first, and then it'll be like? It well, you don't have all the them yet. You still have two you're missing. Oh, you're right. Oh, well, I can just fit those two plus offside together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You know what this means, though? It's time, boys. What's the? I have to pick the closest cart to resemble Oxide. Cause... Unfortunately, you don't have the ship, so I guess pick the Team Oxide cart. It makes sense. Yeah, Team Oxide. What color goes really well with him? Green and purple, so I guess... Nitrous Oxide Indigo. <laughs> you have that op as an option. Is that an actual thing? It's a, it's a thing for the Nitrous Oxide Edition at the very least. Um, I could... You know what I could use? Um, where is it? I could use Mint Green. And then I could do green wheels. I don't have the green wheels. I guess I'll have to just use these wheels this time around. Um, let me do. Let me change the decal real quick. This one's. This one's okay. I could do. Wait. Paint job. I wish it was other way around. Seriously, I wish you could flip the colors around instead of having to buy the red, white, and blue like four times. You get all the different options. I just won't use a decal. Simple. There we go. It's me, Nitrous Oxide. And I'm going to race me, Nitrous Oxide. For the fate of your planet. I will race myself for the fate of your planet. If I win... Your planet is destroyed, but if I <laughs> win, your planet is saved. Wait, so which one do we root for? Uh, what if we just kill both of them? But, okay, I, I know this is a kid's game thing, but I'm really surprised that that never actually comes up. Like, okay, why, why didn't we just kill the alien? 
crash spit him. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, crash, you have a gun. What are you doing? He crashes like a megaton spin. It tosses people. Hey, look at it, it's Oxide. I'm Oxide. Oxide versus Oxide, the race of the ages. I guess I'll show that we have the track too. I was gonna save over here anyways, just so I don't have to make a long trek back. But yeah, look at it, we got these two stages. I don't know, I'm just, even though I'm pretty sure it's autosaved like seven times anyways. Gotta do things like it just auto saved. Yep. Ah. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next part where we do the uh, relics here. I'm surprised these levels don't have CTR tokens in them. It's really weird. But no, they probably do if you go into the menu. Did you know how you can do the CTR challenges for the uh, the CNK levels and probably two? I'll I'll, I'll the check stadium. after this part. But yeah, that will be the end of this part. Next part, we do Slide Coliseum, Turbo Track, and Oxide versus Oxide. The race of the ages. The race see y'all then. See you all next year, chicken.